Days a day that I've been waiting for for a few years to be honest with you. So here she is guys. I'm liking this. Ferrari's coming in. Thank you, dokey. Hi guys, how's it going and welcome back to another video. You join me on my driveway which is full of cars. But if you're new here, then you probably didn't know that, but we have a lot of cars at home and my family at their house, they have a lot of cars as well. So if you love your cars, this is the channel for you. So make sure you subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you're the first to know about whenever a YouTube video goes off to my automotive YouTube channel. Today is a day that I've been waiting for for a few years to be honest with you. Um, I've now got a Seat 127, classic car, my second attempt at classic car ownership. Second attempt is going much better than the first attempt ever did. And uh, yeah, the whole idea of having a classic car was because in my local area there's a lot of classic car meets. There's not many car meets for new cars but there's a lot of, of car meets going on for the older stuff. Um, so finally the day has come where I can finally take my classic car to a first classic car show. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. Basically, we're taking her to a first classic car show. So happy times! Driven 24/7, uh, top is on. We're gonna put the Driven 24/7 YouTube plate on when we get to the show. But first, I just want to show you my newer car behind me, my Bar 505 Trofeo, modified Bar, shall I say? Just want to show you what I've just done to her quickly. Look at her. So I previously waxed her, but with different products this is a new wax I use and I realized that the wax I'd left it on too too much to cure too much and I couldn't buff it off so it's been like that for months and there's been little sort of caked on wax marks so yesterday I thought right I'm gonna wash the car because it was in much desperate need of one there was poo on the flipping roof the back was black so what I did was I polished it so I could polish out all those little marks I told you about and I put a new coat of wax on top so I have to say I mean I used all over finesse polish and um polished it on panel each pa one panel at a time buffed it straight off and then put some mad cow wax again one panel at a time this time not letting it cure for very long before buffing off and uh yeah she is looking fresh got the old tire gel on the old tires but she is proper gleaming guys <sighs> all day and I, every time i went outside to polish her or carry on polishing her should i say it started raining so i had to stop play but yeah so yeah that's my newly uh polished and waxed the bath let's go to this classic car show so here she is guys we've made it to our first local classic car show just registered with the classic car club so we can come again uh, we're next to two mint cars which are putting us here a bit to shame she's so original and bodywork's obviously not great so you guys already know so we've got a mint mini next to us we've got an even mint a vw beetle on air which i'm just going to show you now <laughs> Yeah, we can't quite compete with this sort of car yet, but one day, one day. So this I really like, and it's in like a luminous sort of yellow. It is a Toyota Sleek GT. This is like a classic muscle sort of car, I suppose. <laughs> Datsun 260Z, this is absolutely mint, and it's even got... Form of sticker on it, so that's probably your original original radio sticker on it as well. This is like a nice sort of orangey red, real nice. I mean, the wheels are absolutely mint. Loving this paintwork like that as well. Got the insides pretty mint as well. Very well looked after, classic. Now I'm quite liking this. What is it? A Vauxhall Ventura. It's quite a nice sort of saloon type car. It's got its own sort of look going on, forget the forwards of the day, quite like this. It's like a sort of funeral sort of car I suppose, like a saline car but I like the front end as well. I like the grille. Now this one we've seen here before, another Toyota GT. Again liking the paintwork on this, a nice bright colour, interior is mint. Just really like the look of these. Now this is classy, pretty and beautiful, old Merc convertible in a sort of classic cream colour. Look at that interior, she is pretty.
another nice Datsun, I'm liking this. Nice colour, nice sort of stance to it. It's my sort of classic. I think you guys would probably agree. Nice unmolested original pre coming in. Now it's got such a big bed area. Oh, and a Ferrari's coming in, hanky dokey. Sweet. Again, liking this. This is actually advertised in a local sort of MOT garage. A lot of this American stuff's now starting to get more popular and coming to these sort of English sort of classic shows, you could say. But yeah, very welcome here, I think. That to me looks pretty new, doesn't it? Some more of the classic Fords, but my favourite out of these two has to be Mark 1 Fiesta. Again, this is the car I wanted. I actually got my first nod of approval when me and Dale were out in the sea the other day and we saw a young boy in a, one of these and he gave us a thumbs up, so that was always nice. Nice colour, nice white pepper pot wheels. Yeah, I want one of these, but again, they're quite expensive for what they are, I suppose. Some more of the classics as we go around the corner of the quay. Lovely location, just wish the sun would actually stay out. Stay out. Ferrari to show you turn up. Mustang gang. Clean engine bay as well. I prefer this older Capri to the round headlight version, the slightly newer one I believe. Yeah, this just arrived and yeah, my cup of tea all over. Just on the opening row of cars and vans and American trucks. Oh look, that thing's there, we saw at um, Vast Works, weren't it? Yeah. And this thing just come to me, but I said to Dale, that is a very nice Alpha. Again, luminous sort of lime green colour. God, look at the gear set positioning. Steering wheel's nice and deep. Don't quite know if this is an original colour, but I like it. One of a Alpha Spider, just like that luminous one I showed you earlier. This one's in more of a typical classic colour, the red. Very pretty. So these lot all came in together. We've got an RS2000, Mark 1 Escort, Mark 1 Escort, Mark 1 Escort, Mark 1 Escort, and then a very clean Mustang. Mmm, lovely. For sale. £22,000. Now I like these, I think these are underrated. Triumph TR7 I believe. You can get these pretty cheap as well. I'd rather have one of these than like the typical sort of MG. And they always look too modern to get in these shows but they're obviously old enough. So you have two Porsches here and that actually to me looks like TR7 I just showed you. But it is actually a Porsche. Very similar though I think. And then we've got the old classic Porsche here which you'll see is on another sort of Porsche level. This was here last time as well, but look at the back. Flipping varnished wood in the back. You would never use that back end would you? The colours, you've got flipping rope bits here. I'm loving the two-tone sort of beige cream of the wood. It is so mint, I love this. The lady, um, of the the wife of the husband who owns this car, she said they've got a Vespa as well one day, he's painted it the same colour. Pretty hilarious. A lot of the old Ford here, so we have a Mark 1 Escort, looks pretty original. So we are liking this camper, nice colour. Funny uh, seat covers, you've got a dog that says I'll drive and one that says I'll watch. Obviously been to loads of local different events, got the pop top. Oh, the back end's pretty cool, we've got a Mickey Mouse uh, plate on there as well. And the uh, English number plate, obviously. Oh, she's open. Is there anyone in there? Nope, luckily. Oh yeah, there is a man in there eating his lunch, but we won't get him on film. But yeah, this is really cool. It's definitely original, but obviously been tampered with a bit to get the uh, patina look going. Just right up Dale Street, so mine to be honest. An old VW, do you think it's a fastback? Like yeah, 
right hand drive, I thought it would actually be left hand drive, but yeah, loads of stickers on it. I like these uh, sun visors they have on the old cars as well. We're greeted by this massive bus, which I actually quite like, the colour scheme is very cool. We've got a couple of old fire engines here, this bus is just massive. Oh, it must be a coach actually, and it's a coach. And you get the really random rat rod Americans like this. A few more of these trucks come into these meets now, which is really funny. So you get the mint old classics like this Jaguar, for example. And you get the old ratted out classics. Yeah. Why not, hey? Why not? That is cool. So I went, took my car to its first classic car show just a minute ago, just got back. We've pretty much been in the sea all day. We have did a few little errands, like going to the local shops. That was like living with a classic car for the day sort of type thing. But uh, yeah, she did really well. No problems, issues driving. But again, I wouldn't expect there to be because she is a sweet little running 903 cc engine. Um, as soon as we got there, um, there was marshals at the show and they said, oh, have you been with us before? I said, only to look, but not to show. So they gave us a little welcome pat. Got the first sticker to put on the Seat 127. Well, first sticker I've been giving because it's really got a YouTube driven 24 seven one on there, yo. So yeah, got a new sticker to put on the whip. And um, yeah, um, parked her up, they'll put the YouTube plate on her, put my little information on, like if you take photos, tag me in on Instagram, check out my YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. All that sort of self-promotion stuff. So we were the probably, well, yeah, we were for a fact the only Seat there. I think we were probably the only Fiat there as well. There were a few Alfa Romeos, obviously Italian, um, but yeah, it was getting a few looks. Um, it was nice at the, well, at that show you get all sorts. You get proper old classics, like you get sort of Morris Miners MGs. There's also a few Datsuns there, um, a few of these Toyota Sleekers that I quite like. And um, yeah, it was nice because there was a few sort of um, ratted American stuff there as well. And then there were also some ongoing project cars there. So there was someone else in an Austin, I think, and it said ongoing project. And it's the same as mine, obviously. I was parked next to two absolutely mint cars that obviously have had a full restoration, but I've put them a little right up. Look, it is like a new car to me. It's going to be an ongoing thing to do up over a little while, so subscribe, is what I said. Um, so yeah, it was nice that she was there in her original condition. She was getting a few looks. People had the windows down so people could have a good look inside. And yeah, she was getting a few looks, a few people taking photos, even though she's not a mint car. So uh, yeah, there was some appreciation there for the girl. And yeah, it was just a good old all-round show. I'm quite into the old American trucks. There was quite a lot of patinaed ones of those. Um, yeah, it was just a good day out, like the car shows of that kind are. So um yeah, first car classic car show in the seat complete. There's another one coming up at the end of the month, which I'll take her to again. Um, run by the same organisation, just a different setting. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this different kind of video, obviously now I'm bringing you more classic car stuff, as well as the uh, modern videos I can do the above, uh, then please let me know by liking this video. Make sure you subscribe to see more seat content, taking a seat to classic show, some more, again, classic car content. And uh, hit that bell for the first know about when a video goes up. And make sure you follow me on Instagram for lots of amazingly edited and taken photographs by myself. And um, I'll see you in another video, guys. Thanks for watching this one. Hoping you like the style video. And I'll see you in another one. Peace.